Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Saturday, the 10th of March, 2007. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some stocks we're trading on Monday. I haven't mentioned any stocks lately just because the market's been so uh, tumultuous, I guess would be a good word for it. Um, and I, I didn't want to put any people in stocks that uh, uh, I thought had very little chance of follow-through. Um, on the screen right now, I have the uh, QID. This is the ProShares Ultra Short uh, Cues. And basically what it is, it's an inverse relationship to the NASDAQ 100 trust, the QQQQ. So basically when you look at this thing, uh, at the cues, you can see that they've broken down through support, whereas the QID has broken past resistance, which now looks like it uh, is, is acting as support in here. So what these things do, though, is they're a double inverse. So what you do is actually go long the QID in order to get short exposure to the NASDAQ 100. Um, so it allows you to basically sell short if you want with qualified money in your IRA or, or, or uh, other retirement type uh, programs. Um, but there's uh, another twist to this product, which is that it's a double inverse, meaning that, for instance, the in theory, the way it's supposed to work, it, it's not always going to be exactly precise, but if the NASDAQ 100 drops 1%, then the QID should rally 2%. But it works both ways, too, so be careful with the leverage. In, in, in other words, you've got built-in leverage into this thing as well as uh, reverse uh, or inverse exposure. So it makes it great for selling short and retirement products. The point is, though, here, when we look at this thing objectively, you can see that we, this, you know, the, the QID has been in a downtrend. We had uh, accumulation back here in mid-December, and now it's broken past that level of resistance. That level of resistance right around this 54.5 level looks to be acting as support right now. Um, I don't think it's quite time to buy quite, uh, exactly right now. However, if this market can get above this 56.50 level, I think that's where uh, it would make sense to get long this once again. What I'd ideally like to see would be for a rally maybe up towards 56 and a quarter, 56.30, and then a pullback to 56 and then for it to break out. That way we could put our stop underneath the $56 level. In other words, what I'd like to see is a higher low uh, come into play here before it breaks out. That would allow us to, to get involved with lower risk. If that were the case and it breaks out, I think you could see this thing rally up, uh, maybe even up towards 60 over the next uh, you know week or so. Um, that's not an official recommendation, but it's just something to keep your eye on because I don't think the risk reward is quite there yet, but it is very possible that this NASDAQ could continue lower. If you just look at this thing on the daily time frame, it's a, it's, it's a classic breakdown on heavy volume followed by diminishing volume on the rally up to a prior level of support, which should act as resistance. We've got all these moving averages declining. It looks almost too good to be true as far as a short sale goes. So. Uh, enough of that. I'm going to mention another short sale after we look at two longs. First, we're going to look at uh, Falcon Star Software, FALC. You can see this stock had a big volume move over in here, followed by light volume and more big volume on another thrust higher. It got weak with the rest of the market, and it's been holding along this rising 20-day moving average now and just cleared back above that 10-day moving average. Looking at the weekly time frame, you can see that this prior resistance, just, above, just below 10 bucks a share, uh, from the last couple of years now seems to be acting in support and when we look at the monthly time frame you can see that this stock is close to these all-time highs in here so I think Falcon Star has a good chance of continuing higher and you want to buy the stock above ten dollars and thirty five cents we put our stop just below uh, Friday afternoon's low so we could put our stop at ten dollars and eighteen cents that gives us just seventeen dollars uh, seventeen cents of risk and I think a price target would be about $11.10 a share. So, in other words, we'd be risking about $0.17 cents in this case uh, to make about $0.75 cents if Falcon Star continues to move higher. Another long that you might want to consider is a company called Jack Henry & Associates, symbol J-K-H-Y, kind of similar to the um, Falcon Star in that it broke out and pulled back to this prior level of resistance in here. If I continue with that, uh, you know, the resistance from back here, looking like it's trying to act as support right now. Uh, on the weekly time frame, pretty similar. And then on the monthly time frame, you can see this nice longer-term consolidation it's been in. 
and hopefully getting past here with these higher, we've got these higher lows, and now pushing up against this upper level, it looks like it should be able to continue higher. Obviously, it's going to, you know, all stocks are going to need a little bit of help from the market. So if the market doesn't cave in, then this looks like a good stock for purchase above $23.20. So we'll take that high from uh, Thursday afternoon, basically. And if it can score a higher high by getting above that, I think we, think we could get involved in it on the long side. Put our stop below this uh, low right here, so uh, this higher low. So I think $22.98 uh, is a good place for a stop. That's just $0.22 cents of risk if you buy it above $23.20. And for a price target, I think the stock has the potential to make it up to at least $24 a share. So in other words, we're risking about $0.22 cents in this case to hopefully make about $0.80. Cents. Now, the other stock that I wanted to mention as far as a short sale goes is this uh, company called The Nine Limited ADR, symbol NCTY. And it's not a big stock that you might have heard of. And a lot of the bigger stocks are, are vulnerable looking, but they just don't look ready to go yet, which is why I'm not sure that the, the QID is the proper play quite yet. But it's certainly something to keep an eye on very closely, the QID that is. But this stock here, the 9 Limiteds, NCTY, you can see it broke down. And now it's, uh, it's, it's rallied up on diminishing volume here the last few days. It looks like it's finding resistance at that declining 10-day moving average. So when we look at a 10-minute time frame, I think that you could sell this stock short below Friday afternoon's low. This is $32.30. So sell, looking to sell it short below 32.30, I'd put a stop at 32.63. That's just 33 cents of risk. And a downward target, I think, as a minimum would be about 31 and a quarter. But realistically, I think it could make it down probably closer to 30 bucks a share. Um, you know, maybe 30.25, 30. 25, 30 uh, but we're going to call it 31.25 as our price target. That would give us a dollar uh, five of potential opportunity for just 33 cents of risk in NCTY.